who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Bigby! Shit! Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We need to tell him about his wife. He deserves to know. You're right. And Toad's a tough... Toad. He can probably handle himself for a few hours. We'll have to. stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. When the magic mirror showed me this apartment, I think I saw a knife inside, covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Well, like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for it. And if he objects? We're here on official Fabletown business. And we can be persuasive, if necessary. Or... you can. Try this out. Guess we're out of options. Come on, help me up. figure out what the hell is going on here. Who would do this to them? I don't know, Snow. Is that the same knife you saw in the mirror? Yeah. I don't know why it's over here. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? Strange. Hard edge to this pool, like... Something was here and got moved. Still a little sticky. When do you think that was taken? Before all this. through the chair. sleeping pills.
his shirt. They never really look peaceful, do they? I wouldn't know. you and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love your devoted Lawrence. I should know his face. There are so few of us. I should know his face. <gasps> oh my god, Rigby, he's alive. What? What are you doing here? Let's get you back up. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing here? What's going on? We found you here, in your chair with what we thought was a fatal injury. We should call Swinehart, have him take a look at you. Wait a second on that snow. You know who I am? Yes. Good. I have a few questions. Why? Why? What's this about? What happened? I don't know. I... Oh, shit. I shot myself in the heart. I oh, thought I'd be dead by now. It hurts like fucking hell. Your heart's actually a little more to the center. You probably had a lung. Great. <laughs> At least... That's how I think it happened. Things are a little fuzzy. Thought it was a bad dream. Why did you do it, Lawrence? I did it because I was ashamed. I, I couldn't live with myself, knowing I had done that to her. I did what I could to keep her away. But she still worries about me. She comes by, makes sure I'm okay. I'm a fucking burden. I'm useless. I don't want her to have to worry about me anymore. She's better off without me. Without me being here to drag her down. She deserves that. She's been through a lot. I just wish I could have done better by her. She's always been there for me. I'm sorry to inform you that your wife has been killed. No. No. No, no, no. I knew this would happen. No, I'm sorry. I am. But I'm gonna need you to help me find whoever did this. So you need to try and remember anything that could possibly help us. Fucking Georgie! Lawrence, I, uh... Do you... Are you expecting anyone? I'll see who it is. No, wait. We need to know why whoever's out there is breaking in. I need your help. What do I do? Just play dead. What? Trust me. You can't move in your condition anyway, so just stay still. The second we figure out what they're here for, Bigby will arrest them. Think about your wife.
Bigby, he has a gun. Hey! <clears throat> Stay here! No! Who is... Hey! Stop! Leave me alone! On the same side here. You son of a bitch. Make me run after you. Who are you? What? Who are you? Listen, man. I'm a private investigator. You're looking for the woodsman, right? My employer is looking to ask him a few questions, too. Who are you exactly? I'm D, and I'm a private investigator. There's a business card in my shirt pocket. You can see for yourself. This is for a sandwich shop. Really? Huh. Must have run out. Who hired you? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. I'm sure you understand. Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Oh, don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for no, you to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. You almost looked peaceful. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking you... That explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. We should check in on Toad. See if there's anything there that can get us back on the trail. <laughs> 